What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at you guys today again at Take Aim Range, thank goodness. And I've got ourselves a Dickinson Defense Pump Shotgun. Let's have some fun with this guy, how about it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, I had to switch up between the targets because uh, this is take two. One of the targets didn't make it, just kept falling off. Anyway, this thing's sweet. Alright guys, so we've got again the Dickinson XX3 here and this is the marine model. The marine model has that, I guess you could say more weather resistant coating on it to it, so it's got that silver look to it. And uh, you know, I'm actually having quite a bit of fun with it out here. It's a uh, lightweight shotgun and I'm running two and three quarter inch slugs through it and it is not you know, beating me up too much. And my 5'9 frame at 160 pounds isn't getting completely rocked. It does have a 20 inch barrel on it coming in at about six pounds. And it is a lot of fun. Let's, uh, let's see, <laughs> we ran out of white paint. So I decided to paint the uh, targets there red. Let's see how well the uh, slug shows up on target here. Yeah, pretty good. And as you guys can tell, uh, slugs are pretty heavy hitting, right? I mean, they're moving pretty quick and it's just a one ounce ball of lead just getting thrown down range there, coming out of a 20 ounce, 20 inch barrel. So uh, pretty fun. Anyway, I got a five round capacity with this guy, but the stock also includes a little shot shell, shot shell holder over here. So if you get low on ammo or whatever else, you can load these up and now you've got an additional five rounds, which is a whole new magazine tube and they are tight so you're not gonna have to worry about them going anywhere on you but since i just sent one and go ahead and do that number do again how about <laughs> oh man you can't have enough fun with slugs oh i love it all right anyway so yeah five round capacity on it you do have that breacher style brake on the front too or choke if you will and it is replaceable so if you wanted to throw on something else you can Let me make sure that's actually pretty tight uh, coming back a little bit further, again, sitting on a 20 inch barrel, and you've also got that red fiber applique up front, and I'll show you that sight picture once we're actually clear and there's no rounds in the uh, tube. Uh, also, again, five round capacity, you've got that nice heat shield right on top, which is always good, because if you forget that you're shooting a shotgun, which I <laughs> doubt you will, and you've been sending several rounds down range with it, it can get pretty hot, and the moment you try to do that thumb over bore type of shot, well, first off, eh, you can still get your sights on a little bit, yeah, you might burn yourself a little bit, but so don't do that. Just keep it on the uh, on the synthetic uh, pump itself. All right, and then coming back a little bit further on this guy here, you will notice too that you've got your Picatinny rail right on top. So if you wanted to throw any type of optic or anything on it, you can. And to pair with that red fiber optic out front for your front sight, you also have that kind of ghost ring sight in the back. And it's very easy to pick up in uh, daylight for sure. I haven't really looked at it in low light situations, so, in a home defense situation, if you can't pick up, first off, that very high visible red sight, you do have some Picatinny right underneath where you can throw on a laser or a flashlight or whatever you want. I think it's a little too far forward for a grip because you look kind of like this. <laughs> so there's that. Let's shoot it again. Oh yeah, actually I think I just saw a piece of my bolt face go flying on that one. Whoops. All right, well now that we're clear, I'll go ahead and show you guys that sight picture. So there's that ghost ring for you, mated with that red fiber optic all the way out front. So that'll go to show you pretty much uh, <laughs> how much power these slugs have. Just took that target right down. And uh, let's go ahead and reload here since I got a couple of shells left and I got some in my pocket as well. But while I'm doing this, uh, talk about power of slugs. We did a shoot with Premier Body Armor and we have those backpack soft body inserts that you can throw into your backpack, obviously. And we might put up that video footage there because it shows just the slug making impact on one of these that I think we're actually a little bit closer than what we are right now. And how that soft body armor caught that slug and it just, you know, completely compressed it. And Alex kind of showed us some. Actually, you know, let me just show you guys the footage. All right, guys, this might be it for Mr. Hand Select. Let's see. All right guys, so actually, even though he took a fall, I think Mr. Hanslick looks okay. Um, uh, 
Now, Alex here has explained to me a couple of things, but let's go ahead and bust it open and take a look at it yeah, real quick. Ryan, you mind holding the uh, Fostec for me? Thank you. And let's just see what all went. Oh, look at that. There's the wad. <laughs> oh man, all sorts of stuff flying around here. Goodness, all right. So, it feels like the armor itself is just wadded up. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so what happens whenever it gets hit by something that hard? And actually, I've only got two impacts here. I think I think my third one must have missed the panel or something. So explain to me what happened. Yeah, so yeah, when, when a, a round as large as a, a slug hits this, it's got so much impact force that it's gonna go through a few layers and it's gonna start separating the panel, kind of bulging it out like this. Yeah. Uh, so that's why, you know, it goes from flat to a little bit bulged. And we'll be able to tell more of the story once we cut it open and, and kind of see what the layers actually look like. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's do that real quick. All right. So we'll remove that outer shell yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Looks like we might have only had two points of impact with the shotgun slugs, but we'll know for sure here in a moment. All right. Oh yeah, I'm already seeing something kind of cool. <laughs> Is that waterproof there? Yeah. You might find some rounds inside there. Okay. Here oh, we go. Oh yeah, I can feel something rolling around in here. Look at so that. So here's the first slug. Yeah. What do you think about that? That is cool. So let's show this up, guys. That right there is a 12 gauge slug, which actually looks pretty similar to like the bolt head that we have on our steel shots over there, our steel targets. But that right there is a rifled 12 gauge slug. That's pretty impressive. That's right. And then this right here looks like maybe a 45 yeah. that came out of it. That is beautiful. That is art. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's the second one there. Yeah, so yeah. looks like they're stopping, you know, right there in the first couple layers, actually. That is impressive. Oh, that one's Look even more mushroom. Yeah. Guys, that is just too cool. The technology and science behind this is just That's so right. neat. Yeah. That's awesome. So I'm guessing my third round on its way down after this has expanded some, probably I, I think I hit right on my classic. That's right. Though. Yeah. And it that's, that's what happened to Mr. Hanselect here. That's right. As it as it expanded, it shrunk a little bit height wise and as yeah. it was falling, I think it went over the panel because on the back you can see. Look at that guys. Absolute light. That is impressive. Nothing went through. That is so cool. Oh yeah. This thing's actually a lot of fun, guys. Again, I'm shooting two and three quarter slugs through this guy here, and my shoulder's completely fine, which is a huge plus. And it seems like, granted, we're only about maybe 15 yards, which I think most of your home defense situations, you're not gonna be shooting any further than this anyway. My sights seem to be pretty much spot on here. Let me actually take my time here and aim. Let's say I just aim right at the head. There we go, seems good enough especially at this type of range. And then if you were to throw any type of bird shot or anything like that in there, I think you'd be pretty well off. Oh yeah, oh, stay up. <laughs> I'm ready for it to fall over. Now you can throw a five plus one capacity in here if you go ahead and load one up. Now I can go ahead and throw five in the tube and that'll give you six overall, but I think I only have a uh, couple left here. And uh, while I'm talking about it one more time, here we go. You'll notice your safety is right behind the trigger, just kind of like that standard uh, cross bolt style, I think they call it. And it's very easy to actuate, which I'm a huge fan of, because there's actually some well-known shotgun brands out there where just trying to activate the safety is kind of a pain. Uh, so that one, it's nice that it's actually easy to get to. Now the grip on it too has this more of a ru rubber overmold to it. Very ergonomic. I like the way it feels a lot. <laughs> oh man, can't get enough of this thing. And for the price, guys, if you're looking for an affordable home defense shotgun, you cannot go wrong with the Dickinson XX3. That is for sure. 20 inch barrel, so that might seem a little long for you, uh, as far as, especially if you're doing like, you know, close quarters type engagements. So take that if you will. However, again, affordable home defense option, you guys uh, might really want to look into this. All right. There we go. Looks like we're clear, and unfortunately, I'm all out of slugs in my pockets in all of them. But we'll go ahead and take a little bit closer look at this guy. 
Other couple things I like about it is it's a longer synthetic pump on it. So just about if you are in one of those high stress situations and you need to get to this thing quick, it doesn't matter where you grab this thing. You don't have to be in like one small piece of real estate to be able to get a hold of this guy. You can be up here a little bit closer, especially if you start to tire, get a little fatigued and you can't reach all the way out here to where most of your grip is, where it's a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker right back here. So if you need to, you can get right to it without a problem. So very nice. And then of course your release right back here, nice stainless steel, it's nice and oversized as well, so very easy to get to. And you'll also notice too in those high stress you know, situations, larger controls are good. Once you pretty much start losing all of your motor skills, you're trying to find a precise thing to hit, doesn't work. Like on AR-15s, if you're doing a speed reload, you'll see a lot of guys just slap it with the palm in their hand instead of simply trying to take their thumb and depress the bolt release. Well, that makes quite a bit of sense because there you're trying to use your fine motor skills to depress that bolt release. I'm trying to show you on whatever side you guys can see. Uh, so it just by slapping it, sends the bolt home, gets that next round in the chamber and you're back in the fight. Same type of idea here, if need be. I will say the safety is still easy to get to even though it is a little small. I like, again, like I just said, those oversized controls as far as this goes, but your safety, I think it makes up for it for how easy it is to actuate and to be able to get on target all day. Yeah, I like it. I like it quite a bit, guys. And then again, that grip on this oh, feels really good. I do like that ghost ring sight. It just makes for such an easy sight picture to pick up on. And I'm shooting red on red and I'm still able to see okay. <laughs> all right. But I think, uh, what else am I going to talk about here? The last couple of things, if you are the kind that likes, to, maybe you'll be you know, carrying this around with you or anything. If you do need a sling, you have your sling stud right up front here, right back here, and then even right through here if you're just looking for a regular you know, sling strap, whatever it might be. Uh, anything else I'm missing out on this guy? I think I've hit all the major parts. I'm gonna talk about the price one more time because if you're looking, again, for a whole defense shotgun for under $500, under $400, under $300, this might be something that you should take a look at for sure, guys. All right, I'll leave it off there. The last thing I wanna talk about is our current giveaway. Guys, if you, uh, talking more again about some CQB here. If you're looking for something that's chambered in 45 ACP, made by LWRCI, which is a Land Warfare Research Corporation, and also about an MSRP for $3,000, but for free for you guys, check out the SMG 45. That is our current giveaway. It comes with two 25 round mags, Inbus Pro sights, and it is sweet. One of my most favorite pistols. And yes, it is a pistol coming with the SB Tactical Brace. So go check out our video announcing that as our giveaway. Don't miss out. Check out our Dickinson, again, XX3 Defense Pump Shotguns. And that'll be a wrap. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. Hope you guys are all staying clean and washing your hands. And hope to see you guys soon at ClassicFirearms.com.